Hey guys, today we're diving into the ultimate guide on automating bulk messages on Facebook Messenger. So whether you're looking to save time, streamline your outreach, or you just feel like a productivity wizard, this video will cover it all. We'll break down each step so you can get this set up and get results right now. Ready to make your life easier? Let's get started. First off, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all of the new subscribers joining us today. If you're new here, I'm Jake Dawson and I'm all about AI sales automation and workflow hacks that are actually easy to use. Remember, everything we covered here is designed to get you results. No boring theories, just practical strategies you can apply today. And hey, if you're looking for even more tools and templates, make sure to check out my school community. It's linked below. We've got exclusive make.com templates, including the one that we're using today, so you can start automating right away. Subscribe, hit that bell button to catch all of our bi-weekly videos and live sessions, and more. All right, let's jump in. Today, we're going to automate sending bulk messages on Facebook Messenger using a tool called Merga if you're on Mac or Gitbit if you're on Windows. This automation is going to save you hours of tedious manual work and give you back precious time to focus on things that matter, like strategizing, closing deals, or let's be honest, grabbing another cup of coffee. But before we dive in, if you haven't watched part one yet, now's the perfect time to check that out. In that video, we covered how to use Instant Data Scraper to grab member data from Facebook groups and how to organize that data in a Google Sheet. You need that sheet ready to roll, complete with Facebook profile URLs and personalized messages that actually sound human. Because trust me, hey, name, check out my amazing product is going straight to the spam folder. Let's get your tool set up. So for Mac users, head over to Merga with two A's dot com and download the Merga macro recorder. The website is simple and user friendly. No maze of confusing links to get lost in. Just click the download button for the macro recorder and the installer will be ready in seconds. For Windows users, the same website has a link to Gibbet, which is basically Merga's twin for Windows. Click the link, grab the installer and you're all set. The installation process is as easy as making instant noodles. A few clicks and you're good to go. Once the software is installed, launch Merga or Gibbet. The interface is refreshingly simple. No complicated dashboards or weird icons, just a clean, straightforward layout. Now let's fine tune the settings. To avoid Facebook's notorious spam filters, set your macro to send messages at a relaxed pace. I recommend around 20 messages per hour or even lower. This isn't a race. Slow and steady wins the outreach game. If you go too fast, Facebook will think you're a bot, and trust me, getting flagged is more annoying than a low battery warning at 5%. Once you've adjusted the pace, hit save, and you're ready for the next step. Next, let's prep the environment. You'll need your Google Sheet open and ready. This sheet should have two essential columns, one for Facebook URLs and another for the personalized messages. If you haven't done this yet, go back to part one and get it set up. Take time with those personalized messages too. Generic messages get ignored faster than spam emails. Make sure each message feels like it's written by a human, not a bot. Once your sheet is ready, make sure it's the only tab open in your browser. The macro needs a clear path to work properly and having other tabs open can cause it to stumble or get confused. Seriously, the macro hates distractions. If you're halfway through a cat video or meme gallery, save it for later. Keeping your Google Sheet tab open ensures everything runs smoothly and efficiently. Now we're ready to record. In your Google Sheet, click the first Facebook URL. Take a deep breath. You're about to become a macro pro. You're going to put your cursor right on the Facebook profile URL in your Google Sheet. Then place your cursor anywhere on the screen where you can easily remember. For example, on the Cloud Save button. Now press Command plus R or Control R to start the recording. Using your keyboard, not your mouse, press Command plus C to copy the URL, Command plus T to open a new tab, and Command plus V to paste the URL into the new tab. This ensures you're keeping everything automated without relying on the mouse. Once the Facebook profile loads, navigate to the message button, then return to the Google Sheet. Again, use only your keyboard. Press the right arrow key until you get to the cell with the personalized message. Copy the message using Command plus C, switch back to the Messenger window and paste the message with Command plus V. You'll see the message populate with the recipient's name. 
Pretty slick, right? Hit send to deliver the message. Now close the Facebook tab, place your cursor back on the cloud save button and navigate left to the next URL in your Google Sheet. In the status column next to the message, type done to mark it as completed. Stop the recording with Command plus S or Control plus S, and just like that, you've successfully recorded the entire automation sequence. Now you can sit back, grab a coffee, take a walk while the macro does all the heavy lifting. When you're ready to run it, press Command plus S to execute the macro and watch it seamlessly go through 20 leads or more depending on your settings. The macro will copy each URL, open it in a new tab, send the personalized message, and then repeat the process automatically. Hands-free automation at its finest. Keep an eye on the macro while it runs. Sometimes Facebook gets fussy or a profile takes forever to load. If a page doesn't load correctly or a message doesn't send, pause the macro, fix the issue, and resume. One quick tip, check your internet connection before you start the macro to avoid random drops in speed. If you encounter a stubborn profile that refuses to load, skip it and come back to it later. Also, keep your eye out for any unexpected pop-ups or Facebook warnings. These can trip up the macro and need to be cleared manually. Most of the time, though, it'll work smoothly, like your favorite playlist on a long drive. To stay on the safe side, though, run the macro in short batches at first. This helps you troubleshoot any recurring issues before committed to a long run. You can also set a reminder to check in every 20 minutes to ensure everything is still on track. Once you're confident it's running like a charm, you can kick back, grab a snack, or even binge a few episodes of The Office while the macro does the heavy lifting. Oh, and don't forget to keep your charger handy. You wouldn't want your laptop dying halfway through the process. And there you have it. You've just automated your Facebook Messenger outreach. No more repetitive clicking, copying, or wondering if you've double sent a message. If you're not set up yet, revisit part one to get your Google Sheet ready. Thank you for watching, and I hope this automation helps you save time and supercharge your outreach. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future tips and tricks. I'd love to hear what automations you're excited to try, so drop a comment below. And remember, all resources and templates are in the school community link below as well. Stay productive, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video.